Hello students, let us move on to one more very simple sum. The question says that in which quadrant or on which axis do each of the points minus 2, 4, 3, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and minus 3, minus 5 lie. Here they have given us some points with the respective coordinates and we need to identify whether the points lie in the quadrants or on any of the axis. The first point has got its coordinates to be minus 4, 4. Let us observe the x coordinate. What is the sign of its x coordinate? Yes, it is nothing but minus. Let us observe the y coordinate. What is the sign of its y coordinate? Yes, it is plus. So, my dear students, the point minus 2, 4 lies in which quadrant? Yes, it lies in the second quadrant. Let us mention in the solution. We can write that in the point minus 2, 4, the abscissa is negative and the ordinate is positive. So, it lies in the second quadrant. Let us move on to the second point. The second point has got its coordinates to be 3, minus 1. What is the sign of its x coordinate? Yes, it is plus. What is the sign of its y coordinate? Yes, it is minus. So, my dear students, the point 3, comma minus 1 lies in which quadrant? Yes, it lies in the fourth quadrant. So now, we can write that in the point 3, comma minus 1, abscissa is positive and ordinate is negative. So, it lies in the fourth quadrant. Let us move on to the third point. It has got its coordinates to be minus 1, comma 0. Let us first observe the y coordinate. Its y coordinate is 0. So, my dear students, the point lies on which axis? Yes, it lies on the x axis. But, my dear students, the x coordinate is negative. So, yes, it will be lying in the negative x axis. Now, we can write in the solution that the point minus 1, comma 0 lies on the negative x axis. Let us move on to the next point. The next point has got its coordinates to be 1, comma 2. What is the sign of its x coordinate? Yes, it is plus. Now, my dear students, what is the sign of its y coordinate? Yes, it is again plus. So, the point 1, comma 2 lies in which quadrant? Yes, it lies in the first quadrant. So, now we can write that in the point 1, comma 2, abscissa is positive and ordinate is also positive. So, it lies in the first quadrant. Let us move on to the next point. The next point has got its coordinates to be minus 3, comma minus 5. Let us observe the x coordinate. What is the sign of its x coordinate? Yes, it is minus. What is the sign of its y coordinate? Again, it is minus. So, my dear students, the point minus 3, comma minus 5 lies in which quadrant? Yes, it lies in the third quadrant. We can write in the solution that in the point minus 3, comma minus 5, abscissa is negative as well as ordinate is also negative. So, we can write that it lies in the third quadrant. A very simple sum, indeed a very beautiful sum. Thank you my dear students.